Hi there and welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to transfer wirelessly your videos or your photos from your GoPro to your Mac or PC without using a cable. That's something that you can do with the stock app from the phone, right? It's easy, you connect the phone to the GoPro, magically you get all the data here. But how do you do it with the PC? Now, of course, the official way to do it is to use the provider cable. However, the provider cable is USB-C on one end and USB-A on the other, and my Mac doesn't have USB-A. I can, of course, use an adapter. Another method is just to take out the SD card and connect it through an SD card reader. That's actually the fastest way, my preferred one, but you need to open up your GoPro in order to do that. Or let's see how to do it wirelessly in case you forgot your cable, in case you don't have an SD card reader with you, or you just are lazy and don't want to connect cables around. The first thing is that you need to set your GoPro into wireless mode. Now, I'm, I'm not just talking about enabling wireless on the GoPro, that's something you do by swiping down here, going to preferences, connection, wireless connections on. As you can see here, I did that, but that's not enough. This just enables Bluetooth. Since we want to transfer data with Wi-Fi, we need to enable Wi-Fi as well. And to enable Wi-Fi, we are going to use the official GoPro app on the phone first. So we open up the GoPro app here. So I'm just going to go to the GoPro app and you see it's starting up, nice. And next, with my GoPro still on, of course, I'm going to go to uh, my uh, uh, main screen and set it to look at the contents on the GoPro. And you see there is this loading up and at a certain point I get a pop-up which says, do you want to connect to the Wi-Fi of the GoPro? And that's the pop-up I'm looking for you to see here. Do you want to connect to the Wi-Fi of the GoPro? And I said, yes. Now, what's happening is that right now, GoPro enabled the Wi-Fi chip, which was previously disabled. So previously it was running on a Bluetooth and now I really have the Wi-Fi connection. Now um, you see that if I jump back to the Mac, what I have, if I look into all my wireless network, I really see now the wireless network created by the GoPro Hero 8. I can click on it and connect to it. I don't get asked for a password because I already stored the password inside this Mac. If you want to get the password, you just go here, you slide it down and you see camera info. You click on that and you see this is the camera name and below you see the password of the Wi-Fi of this camera. Now you need to type this password here into your Mac when prompted. Right, so now we got into the GoPro and now we actually are connected to the GoPro Wi-Fi from the Mac. So from this point onward, it's quite simple. You open a new Safari window, just like normally, and you go to this address down here. You see it's 10.559 slash videos slash DCIM. And this is where the pictures are stored inside the GoPro. Sorry. So the connection works only if you are in normal preview mode, not if you are in playback or if you are in any menu. So make sure to go back to this menu when you want to access the data on your camera. This is also valid for the official app. So now we are here and you can see I have a folder which is called 100 GoPro and I have several movie clips and this one I recorded right now, you see 30 of August and I just right click, download linked file as, and then I can save it. Let's say I save this, for example, on my desktop, there we go. Now we have the file on the desktop, you say it's taking a while to download because it's a big file. So, you know, GoPro, we shoot 4K, so the video files are going to be huge. For a few minutes, you easily end up using a few gigabytes of memory. So take your time for the download. Now, a small trick is also like, if you want to download like all the files here, right? Then you might need to go and click each one by then right click download. An alternative is to use a download manager so you can install a download manager on your Safari or whatever browser you're using so that then you can download all of them with one click. Right, so let's wait for the video to download and then we see what we got out of the GoPro. And there we go. Now the downloaded file is on our desktop, so I will just play it back to show you that I got the recordings I was doing at the beginning of the video right out of the GoPro. 
you know, like now GoPros are amazing cameras and they come with a lot of options. They can do time-lapse, hyper-lapse, 4K, 60p, 120p, 240p, wide lens, not wide lens, linear, whatever. So these GoPros are amazing and they shoot amazing footage as long as there is enough light. However, I have to say this could be made easier since this is actually a built-in function of GoPro. There could be an official app for the Mac and Windows to do this kind of operations to connect with Bluetooth and enable the Wi-Fi chip first, or they could have at least provided a menu option to do it from here. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe. If you like the video, leave me a like, leave me a comment, and I hope you will bring your GoPro with you to shoot amazing videos because this camera is really capable. 